So my initial survey on this roof found that the roof covering hadn't been laid correctly. They'd used gaffer tape to tape some of the joints and it was reported that it was a glass fibre roof. Now you can see as I'm taking this up that is bending on that piece of wood and uh, if it was glass fibre that wouldn't bend like that. So the customer decided that they wanted me to do an invasive inspection and I'm back here doing that invasive inspection. I've cut a large hole here because I needed to find out certain things. First of all I needed to find a fixing. So by cutting a big hole hopefully I would find a fixing and you could see the fixing there. Also I needed to find out the the boards that they've used which is OSB and make sure that the boards are uh, tongue on groove because you really do need a tongue on groove board over the top of insulation especially if you've got a rigid GRP roof because it will move as you walk over the top of it and they need to be as stable as you can get them. So you've just seen me cut the holes in this particular roof go through the insulation and find this black material underneath. From previous experience I know that that is a um, damp proof membrane. It is not a vapour control system. Now whilst I cut the hole in this roof I also noted as I was going through it that there was some moisture just above that black plastic sheet as well. I don't know why the moisture is there but it can only be there for one of two reasons. It's rainwater that's got in somewhere from the roof and we know that the, the roof covering is suspects or it's vapour getting up from down below. So I can only report back my findings. I don't know what the problem is. I know the roof itself is um, not laid correctly and I know the vapour barrier hasn't been put down as the correct vapour barrier. It's not to the correct specifications. So I went on to do three or four different other holes in the roof just to check that the consistency of what was going on. Uh, and every time I got down to the black plastic, it was dry. So the wet area was only around one area. Why that was, I can't comment. But what I can say is that the incorrect vapour barrier has been used. And the only way of correcting that is to strip the whole roof. And if you strip the whole roof, you lose all the material which are above it. You can't reuse the insulation. Uh, by the time you take it up and it's had all the old fixings in it and you've stored it on the site, it just doesn't go down uh, that, that well at all. So um, this is now going to be very costly if it's decided that that is going to be stripped. Speak soon.